a dinner of festival folks only. Uh, it's going to be uh, at, across the street at another resort. It's easy to walk to, and there's going to be transportation for those who can't walk. There's going to be a chance for all of us to get together on opening night uh, and meet each other and have a nice meal and break bread. After that, uh, on Monday night, there is a welcome party uh, and a film screening, and everyone's invited to attend that. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday kind of break down the same. Uh, after breakfast, there's a, we're going to have a long panel discussion called uh, Anatomy of a Film Festival. And it's going to be a 90-minute to two-hour uh, session in which we're going to do an exhaustive battery of questions to three festivals over the three days. Uh, the first one is going to be a small festival whose budget is under $100,000. The second is going to be a festival whose budget is under $500,000. And the last one is going to be a festival whose budget is over $1 million. Uh, they're all going to be asked the same questions in the same order, so we can sort of compare apples and apples. Um, and then after the battery of questions is given to them in this interview, it's going to be open to everyone for question and answer. Uh, we want everyone to understand how other size festivals work. I know a lot of small festivals have no idea how you could possibly spend $3 million. And a lot of $3 million festivals have no idea how you could possibly make it work for 50K. So we're going to explore that and listen to these three events talk about that. Then after lunch, we break into smaller, we break into uh, sessions. Um, there's going to be a ticketing show and tell, in which we're going to ask if you have a ticketing software package you like to use or service. Uh, you can, we're going to be able to walk around the room and actually demo everyone's. It's going to be more of an informal thing, so you can see how systems work. Uh, people are going to be asked who are going to be participating to demo uh, to sort of create a dummy event so we can see everything from how a user buys a ticket to how uh, Usher redeems a ticket at the event. Um, and then uh, we're going to be doing something called a marketing show and tell, which is actually like a fashion show. Project Runway meets your marketing materials. And we're still working on that one, but we're going to probably do something kind of goofy in which you have to make a, an outfit out of your posters and catalogs, et cetera, and run it down the runway. But I know that people want to see other groups' marketing efforts, and we want to be able to show that off. Um, we have another discussion at one point called Festival Ethics. We're going to discuss the possibility of... Um, coming up with a, a set of ethics that festivals can uh, sign on to uh, and then uh, use that as a marketing tool for filmmakers. Uh, and then at one point, we're going to have something called Meet the Distributors. More than 35 distributors uh, from around the world attend Art House Convergence. And after one of the lunches is uh, this fantastic Meet the Distributors um, Afternoon, we can go from table to table and talk to distributors about upcoming films that they have. They want desperately to talk to festivals because festivals are an important distribution method for some films. I'm going to let Leela and uh, Josh talk about some of the programs that they've been programming and finding uh, speakers for, and they can talk about some of the speakers and kind of what they entail. So I'm going to let Josh go first. Can you hear me? Yep. Awesome, thanks. I'd like to thank, um, first off, John and, and, and Kristen and, and uh, Lila for uh, putting so much time into this. I know that, uh, um, you know, they're busy with other th things and um, it takes a lot. And, you know, uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, we're not paid a lot of money, in fact, any money to do this. So it's all volunteer and um, it's awesome that they're uh, willing to give back to the industry. And I think that's really indicative of what my experience was at Art House Convergence last year, was that um, a, lot of, a lot of film festival professionals uh, come together and just network and support each other. And I can't tell you how many times that I've called other festival operators um, that uh, I've needed help with over the last year. And that's an invaluable um, you know, resource that unfortunately isn't, isn't like the number one, you know, it's not the, the thing that everyone really gets is that the people that you're going to meet at the art house conversions are, are great. In fact, uh, last year I was able to uh, hobnob with uh, two or three of our venues, which actually go there um, on the theater track. So the two things that I'm focusing in on uh, have to do with money and generating money from the, for the festival. And the first is uh, how to increase submissions. 
Um, and the second being, are there any other income opportunities behind, beyond just uh, the main festival? Um, you know, auctions, uh, donor programs, uh, you know, one-off memberships. Um, you know, last year, for example, we did a big uh, 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 March 4th event for Star Wars, and that ended up being a really big uh, money maker for our festival. So, you know, what are other ways that festivals can generate funds throughout the year, also keeping um, people engaged in your brand? And uh, so when your festival comes around, you know, you have uh, a lot more committed and interested uh, audience members, filmmakers, and community. Um, now, as far as the strategies for increasing submissions, um, we're, we've uh, invited all the different um, submission platforms without a box, without a box, excuse me, um, uh, Film Freeway, uh, there's um, Realport, uh, there's also Film Festival Life, and uh, uh oh, did someone want to say something else? Uh, so, you know, just kind of looking at those uh, different platforms to see uh, what are the different ways to increase submissions because a lot of the platforms, although we all know of Without a Box and uh, Film Freeway, uh, there are other uh, submission platforms that focus on certain areas of the world. And um, if you don't, you know, work with them sometimes, you won't have as many, let's say, Latin um, submissions from um, um, you know, the different submission platforms. So, um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, Layla, you want to go? Wait, can, can I jump in for just a second? I just want to, um, just now that we kind of have gotten into the meat of this, I just wanted to make sure we know who all's here. So I'm going to have people chime in. We have, um, what? Should we introduce ourselves? Sure. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Why don't, what, uh, you want to go first? Okay, I'll go first. My name is Josh Leak, and I'm the founder and executive director of the Portland Film Festival. Uh, our festival is held every year during the Labor Day week. Um, and Kristen came this year. Thanks for coming. Yeah. John? Oh, you I'm already John. kind of did, right? You did it. Yeah. I, I'm Leela Meadow. I'm <clears throat> sorry. I'm Leela Meadow Connor, and I'm the executive director of the Tallgrass Film Festival in Wichita, Kansas. And we just are coming off of our 13th festival um, a few weeks ago. So, um, yeah. Um, and I'm, Chris, I'm Kristen McCracken, and I work um, for various festivals. I'm a freelancer, a consultant, and I work for the Hamptons Film Festival. Um, I just got back last night from the Naples Film Festival in Florida. I went down there and helped them out doing social media um, and content strategy this weekend. So, um, and then, so we have Brian Patrick. So it, this, the way this works is a little weird. So maybe I'll make people panelists and then we can just talk to each other. Should I just do that? Have everyone be able to talk? Sure. Okay. Um, all right, I'm promoting everybody so we'll see everybody. Um, if you have your video on, if you don't, that's fine too. Um, hi everybody. So, Hello. Brian, do you want to go first? Brian Patrick? Are you there? No? Um, I don't know who I'm seeing in the front here. Um, Don? That's me. Oh, good. I'm Don Sloman. Hi, everyone. Hi. And what festival are you with? Uh, Portland Eco Film Festival, which is uh, a project of the Hollywood Theater in Portland, Oregon, which is one of the um, folks that if you go to the Art House Convergence, you probably know a bit about the Hollywood Theater. Um, it's a historic theater that shows Art House programming, and we host a number of film festivals, but my primary responsibility on staff there is the Portland Eco Film Fest. Great. Thanks. How about Dennis? Hi. Um, I'm the executive director of the New York City Independent Film Festival. Our festival in New York City is our, coming up onto our seventh year, and I kind of run it. Patty, who's also on here, is our marketing guru. Oh, great. Okay. So that's that's Patricia Figuera. Okay. Yes. Do you want to say hi to you? Can we see your face? Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm Patricia. Hi. Uh, I also work for the New York City Independent Film Festival as a marketing director. And hi, everyone. Hi. I'm my number two, also. Great. Um, and then, Lisa, are you there? 
You're on mute, actually, I think, somehow. There you go. Hello. Hi, Lisa. Um, I'm Lisa. I'm with Sneak Inc. in New York, and we're just going into our 13th year. Great. Um, do we miss anybody? Chime in if so. We had, we had Brian there, but I'm not sure what happened to him, so maybe he'll come back. Um, all right, great. So, sorry, I didn't mean to derail that, but I just thought it'd be kind of nice to know who's here. Um, Leela, do you want to go on with your section? <laughs> yes, I'm happy to. Um, hey, everybody. So, I'm really happy to uh, be working on this with Don and Josh and Kristen and everybody. Art House, this will be our third year going, and it's been really incredible. As John mentioned, we, we sort of started that. Uh, I fuck independent film festival unconference a few years ago, mostly because like we as as film festival organizers, we're so solitary in what we do. There aren't a lot of people in a lot of our cities who do what we do and who understand what we do on a daily basis. So for us, it's really just being able to like have that water cooler kind of conversation and talk about these things that we don't usually get to talk about um, with other people. So the two programs that I'm working on curating are um, the first one is um, really about like pitching and it's called um, bring on your pitches and it's really about um, how to develop your pitch it's about fundraising how to develop your pitch how you tailor it for each client how you curate a strong donor base of individual donors um, what are some tricks that you know tend to work what are some key terms uh, and ideas that you should use when you're pitching a film festival are there certain you know, things that people, uh, maybe your donors are attracted to, um, that, you know, is it, it was about gathering the audience, is it about cinema being communal experience, what, what are some key terms that we can use? Um, the panelists we have lined up are Leslie Kleinberg from the New York Film Festival, Erin, I'm not sure her last name, from the Montclair Film Festival, she's the development director, and then Beth, I think, from the Coolidge Corner Theater is going to join us too. Um, we thought it would be cool to have some sort of crossover between venues as well as the film festival. Um, and then the second part of the, the, the they're also all going to give their own mock pitch. So we can watch them give a pitch, how they would do it to a potential sponsor or donor. And then the second portion of the um, uh, panel will be interactive. And we're going to ask people to come and bring their own, you know, 30, 60 second pitch for their own festival or event. And then it can be critiqued by the panel and other um, attendees. So just really giving each other feedback on, um, on pitching and fundraising. Um, the second panel is Growing Pains Staffing Solutions. And it's with Deirdre from the Full Frame Festival, Alan Black from Hot Docs, Gina from the Denver Film Festival, Gina Wade, and then Andrew um, Greenblatt from the Philadelphia Film Festival. And this panel is really about how you turn volunteers into seasonal or full-time staff, how you convince your board that investing in staff is a priority that can always be tricky, um, how you prioritize which staff positions are essential to your organization's success, um, how you manage seasonal staff and then keep them engaged throughout the year so that they are working for you all year round, and then um, how you create or combine positions based on the strengths of people that are volunteers or that, that have come into your organization. So um, really, if you have feedback on any of these things or if there's something that, you know, about the pitches or about the staffing solutions that you think would be, make this a more robust conversation, I'd love to have your feedback on that. We'll be having some conference calls with all of the um, panelists in the next couple of weeks. And we really just want to make these as, um, as rounded and well-rounded and um, informative for everybody so that we're hitting on what is, what's best for the group. So I'm working on uh, four panels, actually. Uh, the first one's called Perfect Projection. We're going to have representatives from a firm that works with festivals to collect and convert DCPs, uh, and a second firm that uh, is able to help outfit uh, non-traditional theater spaces to be DCP comp and uh, compliant. Um, this it's going to be presented in uh, cooperation with Art House. Uh, there's a few other the, the panels we're doing that are definitely crossover events and some that they're doing that are crossover events also. That's one of them. Um, 
but we're going to be talking about moving towards DCP uh, for all festivals. Another panel I'm working on is called Starting a New Film Festival, uh, and it's going to be a panel of people who have created film festivals. This is going to be aimed mostly towards people, uh, the art house uh, group, um, but how to, how to start a film festival and, and how not to start a film festival. Um, so that will be one of the panels. We're going to be doing one on legal issues, um, which has become uh, more and more important, important in this year, um, not just rights and clearances, but liability issues, what happens if you serve a filmmaker alcohol and they crash a car? What happens if you have a filmmaker who's suing their producer for the distribution of their film and you decide to remove the film from competition? What does that do to you? Um, you know, you decide to, uh, your jury has decided to give someone an award um, and then a few days before you present it, you find out that they've been convicted of a crime that your sponsors don't want to be associated with. What do you do? So we're going to be discussing some kind of interesting legal issues. And we're going to have people bring legal issues that they've uh, encountered in the past few years and have a panel of attorneys talk about that in, in, in ways to resolve. And the last one we're going to be working on is called workflow issues. And we're going to talk about how people actually do their day-to-day. -day. Are you one of the people who uses Google Docs? Are you someone who uses something more sophisticated like um, Slack? Are you someone that has an in-house built proprietary system to track everyone are you using something off the shelf or using slips of paper and post-it notes? Um, we want to discuss that because I think it's important to, for – there's a lot of vessels who are um, – hesitant to move towards um, computerizing records uh, and they're just as there are some who uh, are so gung-ho about it that maybe they miss something because they haven't thought about uh, traditional ways of workflow. Uh, so we're going to be discussing that um, and with some software developers who are going to be there uh, who are going to be presenting ideas that they have for um, review uh, software as well as workflow software. So those are the actual panels themselves. Um, and there's going to be two at a time. There's four time slots. And so you know, you're only going to be able to attend four out of the eight. Um, but we're going to be staggered so that um, hopefully you're not missing much. Uh, all the panels will have a note taker who will be taking notes. And those notes will be published after uh, Art House for everyone to be able to read. So anything that's uh, mentioned from uh, an attendee or the presenter will be available for everyone to have access to afterwards. Um, we have some other things we're going to be doing this year that's a little bit different. We're going to be doing something instead of roundtables this year. We'll be doing what uh, we're calling mind shares. Uh, people, as you uh, are going to be broken into smaller groups, probably about uh, five to six people in a group. And there's going to be a fishbowl in front of you with issues or concerns that you're going to re uh, give us. Uh, and your group is going to pick out one, and we'll have 30 to 40 minutes to solve that issue together. And then come back to the group, uh, to the larger group, and present that solution. Um, while we think roundtables are great, and we did them last year, I think that if people work together on solving a uh, an issue in creating a solution. I think that's a much more interesting use of our time. Um, and uh, hopefully because these are going to be real issues that are presented, uh, someone will go home with a good idea. <laughs> so that's great too. Um, uh, after the, after dinner in the evening, there's usually a cocktail party or there's a cocktail party usually before dinner. I take that back. In the evenings, there are film screenings that are a part of it. I know one of the films is the new uh, Ewan McGregor film He's actually going to be there, so there's a chance of meeting him. Um, and then on Thursday morning, we're going to have um, a members-only meeting for the Film Festival Alliance. If you're not yet a member of the Film Festival Alliance, you can go to our website at filmfestivalalliance.org and get some information. Unfortunately, the registration is down right now, but that will be up very soon. Um, and then we're going to have uh, about an hour-long wrap-up in which we can just talk about how the a few days before went, uh, what was missing, what we'd like to change for next year, et cetera, because I think that's really key to us programming 2017. I know that we took a lot of the notes that were discussed from uh, 2015's Art House and used them to develop this year. And then after brunch, um, the bus would take you either back to Salt Lake City or to Sundance, whichever you choose, you order that ahead of time. Um, and I would say about half uh, the attendees go to Sundance and half go back to the airport. 
Uh, it's, it's really up to your travel schedule. So that's the kind of the, the lowdown of, of what's going to be happening during that time. I can tell you, looking at um, the programming from Art House itself, they're going to be doing um, looking. They're going to be doing uh, panels on art houses versus the millennials, um, security for your theater. Um, it's on Wednesday. Um, raising the technical game. Um, getting personal with your patrons. Um, oh, a whole a whole panel on credit cards, evidently. Uh, <laughs> and um, oh, making films accessible to deaf uh, and blind audience members. So um, they're going to be doing quite a lot of programming also, and they're still working on their final schedule too. Um, and at, at this point, I guess I just want to open it up for questions or concerns people have. Because um, again, we are still putting this together and we can change on a dime. Um, so we're, we're trying to make sure that we are able to accommodate most people's needs. Um, I think with eight panels as opposed to four like we had last year, there's definitely the ability to meet more of those needs, but I want to hear from you guys. Dawn, Dennis, Patty. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I wanted to know what the total cost for the attending is. Uh, registration now, I believe, is it's up on the website. Uh, oh, okay, I can get it. It's, if, if you use the code that's on the Film Festival Alliance website, it brings it to the early bird price of four ninety five, okay, and that great. price holds until the end of the month. And then after that, um, the price jumps to five seventy five or five twenty five if you have two or more people. And then if you wait to the last minute, I believe after December seventeenth, it goes up to six hundred fifty dollars. Um, thank you. They'll get it for four ninety five for now. And if you are a Film Festival Alliance member, you can get it for the four ninety five up to the last minute and there are um there's a ho then you buy you need you get a hotel room for three nights so yeah, you know, it's not included as hotel um the resort has rooms uh that vary all over the place for price and if you are want to attend and you want to possibly share a room with someone let us know and we will try and put it out to other people who are attending to see if they're interested in sharing it i know that leland and i get a big suite and mm -hmm. you know throw a big party it's like a flop house <laughs> <laughs> um, I, think, I, think, I know Doug's gonna go, so you probably can sleep with the Hollywood crew. <laughs> I'm not even gonna respond to that. <laughs> That's my boss. <laughs> hey, one one more question um, for you guys. So I'm a newer festival, and you know uh, I'm part of a staff, but I'm really sort of a crew of one or a crew of two, one and a half. So when you guys are talking about like making presentations on all these marketing materials and pitch materials and stuff like that, and, and that it's going to be interactive, what if I'm one of those people who doesn't have a lot of those materials? Don't worry about it. Can I still it. participate without having that stuff? Of course. Yeah, bring what you can. Don't worry about it. Um, and we, are, we purposely are trying to make sure that we program these panels so they're good, they're good for festivals that have tiny budgets and are brand new. To, to festivals who have been doing this for many years and have huge budgets. Okay. Um, we know that the majority of people who attend our house, or at least the festival strand, are smaller festivals. I would say festivals that are probably under 10 years and probably festivals with budgets under $500,000. So on the small to medium size. So we, we try to purposely make sure that we program for those people. Um, I also just want to say Brian Patrick is here too, and he told okay. me he is from the... Um, Winchester Film Make uh, Film Festival, and it's his budget's just under you. ten thousand, very low. So you know, there's a wide range of people. Yeah. So yeah, and that's on purpose. I think that uh, one of the reasons Leland and I got frustrated at IFFS many years ago was that you know all the presenters were huge events. Oh, and sorry, I, sorry, it's the Skyline Indie Film Fest in Winchester, Virginia. Sorry. Oh, perfect. Okay. Excellent. Sorry. Good. Um. Yeah, I think that uh, Leela and I were frustrated at IFFS that the presenters were all major festivals and I didn't need to hear Sundance and Wine that they lost a million dollars because I couldn't even imagine what to do with a million dollars <laughs> lose it. You know, that I was worried about, you know, a $40,000 budget at the time. So it's, it's, it's just, I, I think that's really important. And I know that's one of the missions of the Film Festival Alliance is to really make sure that we address the needs of smaller events because that's one way they can become bigger events. 
we also want to hear more voices. So I think this year we're, we're really working on incorporating different festivals into the panels too, festivals that we haven't heard from before. So um, I think that that was one of the things along with what John said is that it was really nice to hear at, at uh, Film Festival Alliance to hear from so many different festivals and so many different people, you know, like you said, whether you're a staff of one or you're a staff of 20, we all do sort of face some of the same issues. Um, and I was just going to also add that I think John mentioned this, but in that registration, all your food is taken care of and it's amazing. That's yeah. worth it alone. <laughs> I would agree. The food is actually really good. Surprisingly. And there's a lot of it. So, um, yeah. Uh, what else? Dennis, Patty, do you have anything to add? Questions? No. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Uh, okay. Just, just, just saying hi. I'll just put it on mute and without video because our connection is uh, just a little bit bad in here. Uh, I just wanted actually to um, hear from you guys. Um, what are you planning? Um, it's our first time interacting um, with you, and we are just wanting to learn more about the, the Film Festival Alliance and how it works and um, how we could like. Um, benefit and also help other festivals with our experience. So we are just to consider joining the the, the, the group. Uh, Kristen, you want to talk about the Alliance real fast? Um, sure. So we just morphed. I mean, some of you know this. We used to be called IF uh, uh, Film Festival Forum. IFP, God, I already forgot the name, IFP Film Festival Forum, and we've now morphed onto, into our own 403, what is it called? 40... 501c3. 501c3. Oh my God, I'm really out of it today. I'm sorry. Um, called Film Festival Alliance. And so we are working on putting the finishing touches on a lot, some of our logistics about getting um, the signups and the registration um, ready to be become a member of the festival, but there are uh, m a member of the Alliance, but there are lots of different levels that you can join at depending on the budget and the size of your festival. Um, but we will have more on that. But if you go to filmfestivalalliance.org, you can um, sign up to make sure you're on our mailing list and receive our newsletter and we'll keep you guys up to date with all of that kind of stuff. Um, but we are a year round um, organization where we, we meet in person twice a year at this point, or maybe three times with regional conferences, but um, at Art House Convergence is the big one. And then, um, we also meet at IFP Film Week in September in New York. Um, and then this year we had a regional conference in Boston, but each summer they're kind of in different places. And um, it's a time for us to really to come together and, and talk about the kinds of issues that affect us all. And we, also try to have monthly webinars, um, usually on a topic of interest, and we're happy to hear from you guys to think about what kinds of things you'd like to talk about um, in these webinars. Um, sorry, I'm really a little brain dead. I came back from a festival last night, but that's the, you all know what that's like. Um, did I forget anything, John? Uh, no, that sounds about right. Okay. Um, again, that organization is uh, sort of, we're coming together. I know the website's a little wonky right now. We're still in the process of editing it and getting it together. Um, and so, but uh, stuff about the conference is there on the website now, including the flyer you can download that has a, a little more detail. Um, and uh, the link, obviously, where to register at Art House's website. Uh, we are flushing out the Film Festival Alliance website in the next uh, few days uh, and adding more stuff to it but eventually we'll have resources uh, such as a, a listserv, a daily listserv so people can exchange information. Um, white papers that we've been collecting will be put on there also. Uh, notes from the Art House Conference will be on there, uh, including notes from last year's Art House Conference too. So we're, we're still in the process of putting that all together. Um, and, and, and I know- if you, check, if you go to our, if on the top of the website, you can click the little YouTube link and go look at past webinars if there are things that you might find of interest. They're, they're all, we're recording this as well, so we'll put this one up eventually. Um, but it's, we really hope that it becomes a, a very solid archive of resources for our people, our tribe, we call us. Um, and 
we nothing really beats face to face and even in this kind of face to face it's just nice to hear from hear from each other and talk to each other and and get feedback and um and advice from each other so it's a really wonderful wonderfully collaborative um alliance that we've formed so yeah. we're happy you're here yeah so that's uh i guess that's the pitch <laughs> <laughs> um Josh, Leila, do you guys want to add anything, or are you guys good? Oh. Yeah, I would just say if you have, if you come up with other ideas based on you know what we discussed, and based on maybe we can put on the um, Facebook page the the panels again, and then if people have feedback or things they want us to add to the conversation, just make sure you post it on there because we want to, like I said, make this as beneficial for everyone as we can. I don't think anyone's ever regretted going to Art House, from what I can tell. Everyone who goes just loves it and thinks it's so helpful and so um, crucial to kind of learning, to expanding and growing and learning more about how to do things that we do better. Um, so that might be a lot. Plus, there's a special screening of some movie this year. What, what, who was that with? They just uh, posted it. Ewan McGregor. I Ewan McGregor's coming. Yeah. <laughs> So we can geek out and talk Star Wars with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm going to you know, wear my Jedi outfit or anything, but you know, if it fits oh. in the suitcase, I'm bringing it. So. Is that a promise? <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. Okay, uh, and, and again, as we have more information about what's coming on, names of panelists, et cetera, we'll put that on the website too, so you'll be able to see that. Um, but it's, a, I mean, Lisa, you've been, it's, you love it. <laughs> it's great. Um, if nothing else, so we have we have a film festival alliance Facebook page, but then there's also a film festival organizers Facebook group, which is a private group just for film festival organizers. So um, try to seek both of those out if you can on uh, on Facebook. They they're not hard to find. If it's a private group, we can't see it. If it's a private group, you can find it. And then, or if you send, if you, t I mean, if you want to, um, if you write your email address in the chat, I'll go invite you right now. Um, if you see the chat or the Q and A, I can invite you to it, but they can find it, right, John? And then you just request to join. Yeah, you just click the film festival organizers and request to um, be a member and we will research you and add you to the group. Yes. Yeah. It's not secret, it's just hidden or private. Right, it's a private. Okay. <laughs> so you won't be able to see anything until you're a member, but we'll approve you right, or John will approve you right away. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And remember to follow on Twitter at FF Alliance. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And if you have any questions, just um, we're easy to find on social media. So um, ask us and we will answer for sure. Okay. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.